What's going on, YouTube? Back here in the greenhouse again. Another Tuesday update of the hot tub aquaponic garden. You can see, yeah, Rosemary's still there. And everything else doing pretty good. Water level brought that thing right up pretty tall. Um, oh, I'm going to try to go over everything pretty bare bone basic and stuff like that because I got a whole influx of uh, new subscribers. So, uh, as you can see right over there, I got one heck of uh, aeration going on in the, uh, this is aquaponics, by the way. I'm sure everybody's uh, familiar with hydroponics. This is kind of the same thing, growing with uh, soilless media, except you have a big fish tank and you put fish in there and they poop and pee in the water, gets pumped into the garden beds. The garden beds, specifically the plants and the roots and stuff like that, will clean out all that poop and pee and nitrites. I can't remember how it goes. It turns uh, nitrites into nitrates, or wait, I forget. It does one of those and it becomes beneficial um, fertilizer for the plants. And they take that up, they clean the water for the fish, the water goes right back into the tank, fish are happy, you feed the fish, everything's good. Um, so, in case you didn't know what aquaponics was, that's what we've got going on over here. And we got all kind of stuff growing on over here. So let's hop over into this bed. Kind of looking kind of messy over here, but I'm calling this wind still. Uh, just a little FYI, um, we've got, let me find a prime suspect. This is a good one. Well, not with the leaves there, or the tips there. That's not it, but the dead center, the, like the sky, not counting the tips. That's a really good indication, at least what I've seen in the past, of iron deficiency. I did add iron yet again today. So, I don't expect any of the younger growth. I believe uh, that's where it's coming from first. I don't think that actually, in my experience, I don't think it's ever really reversed. Uh, it's usually the newer growth will look good. And as you can see, newer growth is climbing all the way over into there into the mallow bars and uh, doing uh, really good, looking very lush and green. But this is my cucumber patch now. It used to be my strawberry patch a while back. Um, this is my cukes. And we've got pukes on here. We've got this one, a little blossom on the bottom. We've got another guy right over there. Look at that guy. We've got another one hanging way over there on the other bed that it doesn't want to focus on. It'll focus on something, but it's not focusing on that puke. You can see the flower sticking off the bottom there. All right, we'll give up on that. Um, what else do we have? We've got all kind of stuff. And there are flowers everywhere all throughout here. Some closing up, some just about to open, but they're all looking very good. Here's another cuke right there. Very nice. I forgot how many flowers cucumbers just put off constantly. Um, here's another little cuke right down here. Got some leaves dying off and stuff like that. Um, I never worry about that. Uh, leaves are always dying off, especially lower ones. A little cute right there and uh, I never really worry about it and I don't take offense or anything or think that I'm doing anything wrong or anything like that probably am but I just don't ever think that I am here's a nice little cute right there nice size to it make a good pickle um speaking of did you see Dave's latest video uh, about the pickle fest now it looks like a lot of fun another uh, cute right down here don't see any more over there but I showed you that guy right there and, oh, that's where I was going with this. Oh, uh, wait, where was the other one? There it is. Look at that big old fatty. Look at that thing. That thing is giant. Speaking of giant, look at that thing. Yeah, it's hidden back there. I can barely get it in. Uh, there we go. Look at that thing. It doesn't want to focus on it, but you can imagine what it'd be like if it did. Um, but anyway, that guy is looking great. Um, there's also some more. I showed you this guy right over here. There's another one right over there. I guess I have to hit the zoom button right here. And it won't focus. Okay, well, that one kind of focused. But there's another one. Hey, look, there's that other one now that we're in focus. Looking very nice. I forgot how much I love growing cucumber. Um... And peas. My peas didn't really take off this year, but I grew them, kind of, for a little while. But, uh, let me see if there's any more guys that I'm missing in here. Nope. You can see that big old guy right over there. That big old one. 
There's that little tiny guy. Big guy, big guy. Looking nice. Actually, I can get him from over here. Look at that thing. That's a big old pepper. Looking very nice. Um, and they're, like I said, they're trellising all the way over across there. Going into the Malabar. Fish are doing just fine. Over here with the Malabar. We've got, or Malabar. Rosemary. Looking very nice. Oh, man. I just noticed this. Check that out. Got a little one coming up. Another one right over there. Hey, look. The seeds I planted months ago are starting to pop up. So that's pretty cool. I have no clue what that is. I would have to go back and uh, watch one of my videos to find out. Uh, more rosemary. Looking very nice and lush. Another guy right behind it. Look at that. Just doing great. I didn't have a chance to take these out of here. I really wanted them out of here by this week. Um, like I said last week, look, here's another new addition. Not exactly sure what that is, but maybe broccoli, maybe lettuce, maybe bok choy. I don't know. We'll find out in a little bit. Uh, but these rosemary all looking very nice. This one looks like crap, but you come under here. It's got this whole branch over here that the cucumber's holding on to. That's doing great. Speaking of cucumbers, here's this whole patch right over here. And it's a nice little patch. It's pulled uh, this whole section here, which is two of them that are uh, combining together. And I brought them over here to the trellis. Maybe they'll find it. We don't know. But here's a nice little cuke down there. I think there's one. A little tiny little cuke right down here. Um, lots of flowers everywhere all over here. There's a nice little cuke right there. Come around the side. Look at the size of that cucumber. Looking very nice. Um, I don't really... Oh, right, yeah. This big old guy. Look at that thing. Very nice. Very white on the bottom. That's weird. But, uh, hey, maybe it's part of my iron deficiency. Um, like I said, I did add iron. So, hopefully we'll see something coming around. Man, that's a decent-sized pickle right there. <laughs> I gotta learn how to make pickles really quick. Uh, my awesome little pepper here, it forked, and um, it's actually about to start to bud, and hopefully throw out some flowers so we can get some pods going. More rosemary that I should have removed. Rosemary, 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 rosemary. More rosemary over here. Stuff is all just doing very good. Um, hydro tube. This was... Uh, like a hydroponic type setup, but using aquaponics, and uh, pretty much you put water into one side, it slides all the way down, down, and down, and goes back into there. Two inch net cups, haven't used it for quite a while. Um, just waiting for the perfect root size uh, thing to put in here, because that was leftover pipe that I had, and I don't want to just throw it away, or, you know, go buy three inch pipe, or four inch pipe to put in three inch net cups, or anything like that. But uh, someday, something will come to me. Strawberries, I thought, would be perfect for that, but that proved not to be the case. This guy right over here, it's my flowering lettuce. It's doing awesome. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's definitely flowering, and it's probably getting close to the end. Uh, here you can see all of my cucumbers here are now all starting to progress right across here. Look at that. Right up in, do we have anything? any cukes in this bed over here? I don't see any. No. Anyway, hey, look over here. Look, there's uh, something. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, the Malabar, looking awesome. Look at these seed pods popping off on here. Um, all right, I was supposed to be uh, being basic. Uh, Malabar, this is a vining spinach that I got from JT Bear. And actually, I believe some of these, yeah, there you go. Got a little seed pod. It's not a seed pod. It's like a little berry. And um, the seed is inside the berry. I'm going to, whoops, just drop it right back in there. And hopefully it will uh, come up as a volunteer. And now I've got something stuck in my foot. All right, there we go. Uh, this other Malabar here, I don't know what the heck's going on with it. But it's looping back around and coming back up and coming all over here and ends up over here. Uh, and then we, uh, we got this funky looking Malabar. Look at that. Look how green that thing is. Very nice, but it's not growing anywhere. Um, where is... Uh-oh. No, it's right here. Yeah, hanging off the side here with the cucumbers. All those little seed pods. That's a bok choy. That was doing great. Right over here, we've got 
Malabar Central. This is all of my Malabar, well, not in this garden, I guess. Uh, Malabar uh, vining spinach. Look at this guy. Well, guys, there's so many of them. Look at that. Berries all over there. New berries popping off. And they made it all the way to the very top here. All the way back down. Look, looping back around here. They made it all the way to the top. They're hanging off the side. Another one hanging off the side here. Um, this guy right over here is going up to the... Oh, can't really see it. There we go. All the way above that post right there. Tons of them right here going up and meeting up with that. And they are all trying to find this right here. This string that will take them all the way to the roof of the greenhouse. Which is what I'm waiting for. That way I can say, I've got 10 foot tall Malabar. Hey, there's fun fact. Fact? No, I guess it is a fact. But fun little thing. Right over here, here's some more cucumbers. And it's coming from way down here. Kind of bypassed the whole bed, but made it to the trellis. And it's grabbing onto the Malabar here and over here. And it's got flowers all over it. So it's taking off. Oh, and down here with all my little parts and stuff like that. These guys still are doing okay. Um, I really thought they would be dying off, but we just had a real good uh, cool off. What's up with that? Oh, uh, just a flower that fell. I thought for some reason the Malabar was starting to put off flowers. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just had a massive gale winds and stuff like that and a cool off. It was about 100, a little over 100 degrees every day. And uh, recently it just jumped down to about 80 for the days. So that's really good around here. So, anyway, that was my walk around here, probably a little too long, but that was my look at my hot tub aquaponic garden. I do these videos every Tuesday and show you what's growing on in this video. Come back here on Thursdays, way in the back there. You see all that green in the back there. There's another aquaponic garden that's got catfish in it. That's my lava rock aquaponic garden. We do those videos on Thursday. Come back for the super hots on Monday and uh, whatever kind of videos in between. So. I know, like I said at the beginning, I got a big influx of uh, subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you hit that share, like, all that stuff. Uh, stuff. More importantly than that, I should have uh, just started off with this, which I'm trying to get in the habit of doing, is down below, leave a comment. Not for me. You can leave one for me if you want. But leave a comment down below. I know there's a lot of people that have uh, small YouTube channels that watch my YouTube channel. You think I'm big. I'm not. But I would love to help you grow your channel, and that's how I'm doing it. So go down in the comment section down below and subscribe to all the YouTube people down below. And make sure you do that in your own videos. Steal my idea. It's not my idea. It's just an idea. And you're welcome to it. By all means, steal that idea. Um, do it on your channel. Uh, tell everybody to subscribe to all the commenters and all that stuff. That's how this stuff works. And why am I doing that? Because your commenters will eventually find my videos. They will come around and subscribe to me. My commenters will find you. They will sub subscribe to you, love your content, find your people all the way around until we just all have a million subscribers. And it'll be fun that way. It probably won't be a million. But you know what I'm talking about. That's how we get this going. So uh, if I'm the first person you're hearing talking about this, yeah, call it my idea. I don't care. It's not my idea. Steal it. Use it on your own channel. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, I got an Amazon link down below. Um, instead of asking for money, all I ask is you click on that Amazon link down below. That will take you to Amazon, specifically a... Uh, a listing for Master Blend, where you can get Master Blend. That's what I'm using for my super hot peppers. That's why they're getting so big so quick. It's a hydroponic, uh, um, it's a hydroponic fertilizer, and uh, it's really great stuff. Check that stuff out. If you don't want it, that's great. Click the Amazon link anyway, and search out whatever you do want. New sunglasses. Maybe you, you know, need a new dress or a new, uh, you know, top hat for a social event or something. Whatever, just click that uh, link and I get credit for driving them traffic. They give me kickbacks on the back uh, backside. I have no clue how it works. There's a Bitcoin link down below if you know what that means. And yeah, well, we are officially done with the 3030 challenge, but uh, we're still moving on. So uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow about the 3030 challenge. What's the 3030 challenge? I don't know. It's just something that maybe I came up with. I credit my buddy 
because he wanted a 365 challenge. I said, no way in hell. I'm not doing 365 videos in 365 days. So I shortened it down to 30, 30, 30 videos, 30 days. That's the only rules, man. If you're an anarchist, you'll love these rules. Only one rule. 30 videos, 30 days. If you meet that, you win. And I know JT Bear said he, quote, failed at uh, the 30, 30 challenge. You never fail at the 30, 30 challenge. The point is to get more videos on your channel. That way people will find more of your videos, like you more, and subscribe, and you get your numbers up. That's the whole point. And as an exercise to just show yourself that you can come up with 30 videos in 30 days. I just got done with it. I just proved it. Yet again for the third time. And I'm about to do it in September for the fourth. So if you want to join in, steal that idea too. It's not my idea. I guarantee somebody came up with that before me. So by all means, that's your idea now. Take it, run with it. And uh, ask your uh, subscribers to steal the idea from you too. That way, everybody gets in on the fun, everybody gets more subscribers, everybody gets more videos, everybody gets more likes, subscribes, all that stuff. Anyway, that was a very long outro. So, that's about it. Don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.